am Pranav Khanilwal. Today, I will be performing a moon walk titled Confession Calf Guide High School by Bobby Kenston. In this moon walk, Connor Kay, an average high school student, wakes up in his conference room of his high school and is accused of a crime he is quite sure he didn't commit. Hello? Hello? This is ridiculous. This is absurd. How is a person supposed to confess without knowing what they confess they do? Clear my conscience? Huh? Clear my conscience of what? Clear my conscience of what? No. No. I am not going to this I am not going to play this game because it's not fair. It's not fair. Please, just tell me what I'm accused of. I can straighten this out, but I have to know what I'm accused of. I didn't do anything. Someone must be telling lies about me. No, this isn't right. I'm not going to use it. Dignity! Right, Mr. Lyle? Dignity! I can do that. After everything I've done, I've worked really hard. I keep my head down. I don't say a bad word about anyone. I get good grades. I never do bodies. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. Based on my talk. 
topic, the best day of my life. In this piece, a boy describes his experience of going to an amusement park for the first time. Last year, our school is to an amazing trip to the Imagica amusement park. I was very excited because it was my first time seeing a roller coaster. After two hour road trip, we finally reached our destination. It was magical. We it is too early, so we decided to have lunch. We decided to have a little bit. But see, all those juicy burgers, crispy fries, made us have an eating competition. And we hope till not an inch of space was left in our stuff. Next, it was time for the rides. Guess which one my friends chose to go first. The biggest, the fastest, and the scariest of all, the nitro. My legs were shaking, I was sweating. I told my friends to go without me when he reached the entrance, but the employees pushed me into the first seat. If only they knew what was happening in my stomach. As soon as the ride started ascending, before it dropped and supersonically, I felt the burners coming up my throat. Next, it dropped and then looked, and I tried so hard not to get some other passengers, some shards of blessing. I was very happy when the ride was over, but I, because I had successfully not puked up anyone. But the mystery wasn't over, yet in turn was the zipline. Who gave my friends such big praise? But as I had survived the biggest ride of all, the night I was pretty confident that I would survive this one too. It was my turn, and as I was trapped in, ready to jump, I did the biggest mistake of looking down into the valley. I was so frightened. But it was too late as my zip line started dipping and dipped to such an extent that I couldn't see the start or the finish. And then the force of gravity hit my stomach and everything came out. I was very happy because no one was below me or else they would be soaked in my. Never mind. When I came up to the other end, I saw my friends clapping and hooting. I asked them why, and they told me that I was the only one who didn't scream on the way. I put a smile on my face and shook their hands. Little did they know when I was at the dip, I was vomiting. And that's the reason I wasn't screaming. And thus, it became the Best day of my life. Moving on to my improvisation task. One of my characters is on a ghost train at a theme park. The train stops suddenly and they realize they are alone. How do you do they feel? I'll be playing the character of my original speech. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. By the way, which ride should we go next? That one? No. I'm not going to do it. It's a pretty childish ride. You want to go? You go. But I'm not. Yeah, you said it right, I'm a mother, just check it. The nitro have been like the fastest ride of all. Zip line, not now. Ghost train. This sounds good. The name is 
crazy. Let's go to the girls' train. You're telling that you're not riding the ride because it is a ghost ride? It's not, they are just fake ghosts dressed in makeups. Come on, dude. Come with us. No need to worry, I'm there. Wait, you're calling me a coward? A coward? Okay, we all go and you stay here. We prove that we are not a coward. Excuse me, can we ride this? What? Five in one? Okay, fine. Let my friends go in the first ride. I will go in the second. Alone. What's the need of a safety belt? What's the need of Just a ghost, right? And fake makeups and all that. Okay, anyway. I don't know. Whoa. Nice. Not scary though. It's like they have fake makeups and all. I don't, I'm not afraid. Nice. Nice makeup. Whoa! Just so scary. So pretty scary. Again? Now I'm getting now I'm getting goosebumps. It's becoming more frightening. Whoa! Just came in front of me. My heart beat stopped for a minute. Like I was grumbling. Whoa! Whoa! That person dressed in him. Is that a ghost or a man? Wait. I'm coming in. Thank you. Now I'm anxious that my friends have noticed that I'm vomited. What do I do? I'll return home. A shame, I'll be a shame. Moving on to my reflection task. How do you feel your performance went? What were you most pleased with? Overall, my performance went really well. I was I loved playing in my first piece that was in fashion Kafka in high school. I loved playing the part where my character, character had to be dramatic throughout the play. And then he finally calms himself down. I was most pleased with how I was able to exactly express the when my character lifted the chair up and in my second piece that was uh, my original uh, speech based on the topic the best day of my life I love enacting the part uh, the zipline accident as I found as I find as I thought that the audience would find it hilarious especially the line or else they would be soaked in my never mind. In my improvisation, I love performing the whole improv and especially the part when I tell my friend that I'm not a coward, I've proven myself. It's the most proudest moment ever. 
choose one of your pieces and talk about how the characters or the narrator's feeling change. I'll be talking about my original speech that is based on the topic the best day of my life. In this speech, my character's feeling changed constantly. First, he was excited to go to the Magica amusement park, and then he feels very scared to ride the fastest ride of all the Nitro, and then he feels oh, as if not you've done anyone. He feels overconfident about the fact that he will survive the zipline too, and then he finally becomes anxious about the fact that that his friends had noticed what had actually happened with him. But it ends on a positive note because they did not know what actually happened, and he leaves proud and happy. How your performance different from each other? How did you show that to your imagined audience? In my first piece, that is Confession, Kafka in high school by Bobby Kenshin, my character was very frustrated and angry because he was interrogated for a crime which he didn't commit and didn't even know about. But then he finally calms himself down. In my second piece, that was the original piece based on the topic, the best day of my life. My character was very anxious to ride the Nitro and the zip line, and but but then he feels very proud and happy and leaves home. Oh, how did he, how did that show to your imagined audience? It, I basically used my uh, to show to the imagined audience. I used my facial expressions and also by practicing how to change my emotions and voice quickly. By to do this, I use voice modulation. For example, in my first piece, that was confession talk at high school, I went from my first whole shema to well, I'm not going to. I also use my space the uh, space to show the imagined audience the imaginary setting of each piece. Overall, I love enacting my pieces and I had fun performing them. Thank you.